Good morning, everybody. Woo. We're, you hear that no, road noise? We are right along the Peace River Bridge outside of downtown Punta Gorda. And we're giving you our update for yesterday, which was day 12. So we, it was a busy day, again, lots of appointments, right? So let's kind of go over what happened and where we are and what we're gonna do today while we watch the sunrise, if you can see it. It's actually just starting to clear up. You can see like there's structures over here in the water. I think that's a sunken boat from the hurricane, Hurricane Ian. It, it looks like it's moving the whole time we're here, right? There's a misplaced pontoon boat over on the other side oh, of that dock. Oh yeah, we, we, can't we can't see it from, see here. from here. But yeah, there's, there's, I know there were missing boat Facebook pages and stuff because of what happened. There's actually some boats that are actually in the water there. Are those like all sunk too? Yeah, they're all, I think they're all sunk. That one's moving, you see? But those, oh, they're not moving. Look, take a look. I have a feeling that they may, I don't know, I have a feeling that they might be grounded or displaced, misplaced, uh, immobile. I don't remember seeing those kind of boats when you were here before. We've been here before. This is Live Oak Point, because down there is downtown Punta Gorda, between these two bridges. You can see there's two bridges over there. Okay, what did we do? We spent the night last night, no, no, this is two nights ago. Two nights ago was uh, Naples, right? We had just run at night. It was the latest run Denise had ever done. Yeah. And so how did you feel when you woke up that next morning after the run? Fine. Yeah? Okay, so it was a good run though, because here you gotta run, like we're not real professional runners, and it's hot. I mean, yesterday was like almost 90 degrees, I think, right? And it's gonna be almost 90 degrees today, and it's full of humidity too. So, but it is the coldest it gets. It's like, it's, I think it's like upper 70s right now, as I'm recording this video. It's a little chilly for us, but not for you if you're watching anywhere else. So, running at night's the best thing to do, have a good little course, and I guess you're, you're okay with it. Actually, we're gonna run the I was thinking about running tonight, the same course, if you want to do it. Yeah, I like that course. There we go. You don't have course. to worry about crossing any intersections or any other people getting in the way. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, so after we woke up, I had a dentist appointment. Okay, my dentist is down here now, uh, and I had no idea the traffic was going to be so bad. I knew it was so bad. Uh, we barely, I barely made it to my appointment. I took a couple of shortcuts, and there was this... I don't know if you saw it or not, but there's this trap, bumper to bumper traffic all through Naples. I've never seen so many people here so early in the season before, ever. So, got there, I was in there for a few hours, got my initial x-rays or whatever they give you, and, and cleaning too, so got it all done. And then we hopped in the car, and we actually got our mail for the first time, right? Because we, we have a mail service down here, where you get mail, and I don't get to check it because we're only here in the cold months. And it was full of stuff and uh, even packages. They had several packages. One package was actually returned because it was sent in April. <laughs> that's, that's what happens, but it's okay. We got almost all our stuff, which is mostly bills. So if you guys want them, I'll mail them to you. You can pay them, right? <laughs> Half of the mail away, it was junk. And while Mike was at his dentist appointment, I was trying to work and there was poor internet service in that area. Oh yeah, and around. Both phones. Yeah, we've, there's certain areas that we've found, right? Yeah, they're, they're just bad. They're, just, they're just usually around super busy intersections. Like this was at Mercado in Naples, and we just can't work there. Until they get something done with the towers, we can only spend a, a limited amount of time there, I feel like. It was the first day for a new person on our team, and when it was time for us to do our introductions, I got disconnected. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just about to That's say my good. name and title, and I got kicked out of the meeting, had to rejoin, and interrupt everyone to tell everyone that I'm back <laughs> and who I was. And stuff. Yeah, and it was just because of my appointment, and she's got an appointment there actually in two weeks, I think, right? Or yeah. three weeks. But we just had to stay away from there when, only be there as little as we need to during the work days, and nothing more. Yeah. And even when we're on the road, you say we're on the interstate, you're fine, right? But it's just certain high traffic areas that have low signal quality. It's just a, a recipe for disaster if you're trying to work remotely. Well, even from the interstate, I can hear the calls that are going on. But if I want to talk, I'm not sure if anyone can hear me because I've, I've said things and didn't hear any response whatsoever. Yeah, and, we, and we've noticed this too in Florida. Over the years, I've been wintering here, I guess, since like 2014 time frame, something like that. And, um, and wanted to do it before. 
I always, always wish I did, but finally got to it. It was okay then. 2014 was good. I remember 2015 was good. 2016 was good. And then you get to like a critical mass of people and they never kept up with the uh, infrastructure. So, you know, it's very challenging. It's kind of crazy. Like you think you can work from anywhere and that no problem, you know, you got signal quality, you got 5G, you got everything, but it doesn't translate into what you think it would translate into. And we thought Starlink was the solution, the fix for this, but you know now Starlink is saying there's data caps. Well, not, not actual caps, but they'll, they'll throttle you after a certain amount of data that you use every month. So, um, and even if they don't throttle you, if there's too much congestion, like we found, like you have your, you have, we have actually three mobile plans. Your mobile plan on your phone doesn't throttle until you get to like, I don't know, 20 gigs a month, right? It's unlimited. But that assumes that there's no congestion because if there's congestion, it still slows you down dramatically, even if you're not throttled. So these are like, these are like 2022 problems, you know? So I had to rearrange what I planned on working on yesterday based on the signal quality and all the testing that I needed to do, I couldn't do for the afternoon until we had a better signal, but yeah. I, I got through it. Okay, so yeah, so we headed up 75, we drove all the way up to Tampa, right? That's what we did. I did a few product reviews for some of the stuff that was shipped to me. You'll see this on the YouTube channel soon. Check them out. And uh, just a couple different things we're doing for living out of the car with my pants, I'm trying to keep them straight and pressed. I have a couple different techniques that I use with some tangers I bought, so check that out. That'll be, able to, uh, that'll be up, uh, updated soon. And then we met uh, Fab the Vegan in downtown Tampa, which we had planned for like a month or two to meet him after the, the festival we had last weekend. And Five. I had to finish out my work day first. Yeah, yes. So you worked all day. Yeah, and we were in the middle of downtown Tampa in the Bank of America building, right on the top, 42nd floor. It's a Tampa club. It's like a private club, and he's been there for a few years. And it was a great experience. We had the chef, or he had the chef, who he knows, Chef Thomas. I heard a fish back. Oh, look at that. Well, what is that? Look right there. Oh, look. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a, oh, it's a bird. <laughs> I thought it was like a shark coming out to get us. The Loch Ness Monster. It looked like a dolphin from the screen. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, he's vegan the vegan, as you can tell, Fab the vegan, and he had Chef Thomas make us some special stuff, which is not even on the menu, which is really great. Yeah, I saw the sunset nice. from up there, so all around the city, I'd never seen a, a city from that height before. Yeah. So that was a really good experience. And then we kind of just drove on the way back, and then we just kind of car camped on the way down, 75, and now here we are in Puerto Gorda. And that duck wants to be in this video, apparently. Yeah, probably thinks we're going to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> now it's going out for fish. Just like that for You see? Yes. Okay, now where is the sun? What time is it now? Do you need to pull the watch? Because 6.49 a.m. is the official sunrise time. It's 6.49. Okay, do we see a, a ball coming up in the sky? Is that it? I saw a ball in the video screen, but that's not it. Okay, well, at some point, the sun will be up. And I don't like the power lines. It kind of ruins the view. And those probably, you know, messed up, uh, the disabled boats also messed it up, <laughs> if that's what they are. But, the, you know, Hurricane Ian came through, right through here. I think it came right up the Peace River, right through downtown. And surprising, isn't there, there isn't much more damage. Like we're standing on this this wooden dock pier or whatever and watching the sunrise. Damage to Mercer's coffee. There was? The fence was damaged, but we're going to go... Oh yeah, the white. Oh, it was a white vinyl fence. I mean, that's the first thing to go. It's not really have doesn't have much structural integrity. Well, I guess that's it. We're not going to get much for the sunrise today. Probably in about I don't know, 15 minutes, it'll rise above that layer of clouds, and it should have been up now. But that's it for now. Make sure you let us know if you have any questions. Comment below. Let us know things we should do. We're heading down to Naples today for meetings. That's what we're going to do today. A couple meetings. And then, uh, actually, what I'm planning to do, actually, one of the meetings, you don't even know this, is at 6 o'clock, we're going to do it by video chat, probably while we're walking on the beach. I found some of the, some of the beaches in Naples are open now. They had them all closed, all the accesses, but some of the accesses are open. I think I found a place where we can park, and, because um, they've really restricted parking down there. They don't even let you park in most places. If you don't have a Call Your County sticker, they don't want people down there, but I think I found a place to park, and I found a place to get on the beach. So we'll have a video chat at like 6 p.m. while we're walking on the beach. And then uh, I think we'll go do running, right? Before we go to bed at the same location. And then we have another me more meetings, laundry the next day. And then we're out of there on Friday morning. We gotta get to Miami for our cruise. 
So I don't know how many of these videos we're going to do on our cruise. We may have to take a break so if I can post a couple. Yeah, probably take a break. Or not. What do you think? Is that, is that, does it can be that interesting on a cruise? I don't know. No? All right, I see, I see something. There's more color there. See? See right up there? All right, there it is. I'll, I'll just turn the camera around this way so you can see. If you can see any sun against the power lines. It's gonna come out of there. Yeah, this is a great park, except for the fact that you hear all the road noise and except for all these electric lines. If they didn't have those lines, it would be a really good view too. All right, well, that's it for now. We gotta get going, we gotta, we gotta start today. So be sure to like the video and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye-bye.